Welcome back to the channel. My name is Clay Wong and today we are on the Haunted Hill circuit with this beautiful Z4M and it's been prepped and ready for the track and I absolutely can't wait to experience what this car is all about. This car belongs to my good friend Gordon and we've had the absolute blessing of an opportunity to drive this car out here on track. This is going to be my very first time driving the Z4M as well as also my first time on the Haunted Hills circuit. It's a very technical track and it's going to be a good test of my driving ability as well as also being extremely foggy out here. It's going to be quite an intimate dating first drive so I hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned it's gonna be a killer one let's go guys first things first we're gonna go head back to the pits have the drivers debrief meeting and then we're gonna go for some laps in this beautiful stunning car There are so many nice cars out here though. Nice. Check out the TTRS, the brand new generation. You've got the GR Toyota Yaris here, love those. That looks like an M140, rear wheel drive, hot hatch. What's not to like? EK4 Civic out there. RS3, there are some sweet cars out here. So it's gonna be really cool to see all of these cars just pushing it out at the limit. Civic Type R. MX-5, ND, NA, oh honestly such awesome track cars out but the weather conditions are just so not ideal look at you can't even see past the GR that's it it's super damp out here as well so we really have to be nice and safe as we're driving out here on the Haunted Hill circuit if you're driving out on a new track that you've never actually been before make sure you learn the turns or have a chance to just drive slowly and get an idea of what this track actually is like because when you're pushing the car at the limit it can be potentially quite dangerous so make sure you're aware of what you're doing this Audi's just <laughs> killing my audio but it sounds so good can't blame him with that five pot engine we're just gonna go set up our camera and we're gonna go let these guys have their first run we're gonna go sit in the siding area and talk to the owner Gordon so this is Gordon Hey guys. He owns the Z4M and he's also organizing this Haunted Hills event. Yep, absolutely. Man, pleasure, man. Thank you so much for having me. No here. problems, brother. Tell me about this day and what it's all about. We pretty much know everyone here. We do this kind of once a month and uh, yeah, just have a bit of fun. So we get it out of our system here so we don't have to, you know, um, go to King Lake too many times because yes. I'm pretty sure the locals over there don't like us. Z4M is what you are driving for the full day today. It is prepped for this kind of events you know, with the coilovers and, uh, you know, bits and other pieces. Basically, yeah. once you have the seat, you're like, oh, the gear stick don't look right. <laughs> it just spirals, doesn't it, right? Yeah, then one yeah. thing led to another. You don't see many of these Z4M coupes out there. They're a few and far between. They're uh, quite rare, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. the coupes that are just uh, over 100 in Australia. Wow. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's already like at least 10 that's been, you know, crashed and written off. Of course, yeah. So, yeah, so it's getting, you know, rarer and rarer. We'll have to see how it compares to an E46 M3. So, you, you reckon it's a little bit more hands-on, it's more of a handful. Well, I'm biased. a driver's car, yeah? I'm biased. Okay. <laughs> so, absolutely. Uh, look, yeah. the, the key differences between this and the standard E46 M3 is obviously it has the brakes from the E46 M3 CSL. Other differences from factory would be the steering rack this has got a quicker steering rack okay. so in an E46 M3 you find that when you're hammering through the, the heels or the you know track day you need more steering input so it lets right. you in a way it's easier to drive faster because okay. there's more adjustment you know where this is you know a small adjustment it's a bit twitchy um, and right. sitting position wise you know E46 M3 is sitting somewhere in the middle uh, Z4 is sitting on the back axle okay. so when you actually go sideways and oversteer you feel it more um, okay. which I find a bit more exciting because it keeps you on your toes and with all of these Z4Ms it's got the S54 inline 6 engine which is the legendary BMW engine and this is probably the best engine that BMW has ever made would you say? Uh, probably, look, <laughs> I, I would say the V10 uh, is probably... In, in the M5, point. M6? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. then again, reliability in yeah. those, you know, you get your... I mean, technically you got reliability through, you know, here and there. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't talk about reliability because there's no more <laughs> sponsored videos from BMW. Oh, no, yeah, exactly <laughs> So right. BMWs are extremely reliable. They never break. I thought they know? call them BM trouble you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think if you maintain them properly, they're very yeah. good. Um, the issue 
comes in when a lot of people they get in one then they don't really care about the maintenance side right. of it of course because yeah. a lot of people out there they don't want to spend money on maintenance they only want a mod yeah. um, but I think with this car especially at the age it's at um, they require a lot of TLC yeah. even a day like today uh, next Monday I'm taking it straight to my, my mate's workshop yeah. um, so engine uh, engine oil gearbox oil and defoil oil. so this thing gets a full like fluid flush under a thousand kilometers all the time that's amazing so um, yeah it's always in tip-top condition and yeah. you can just see it yeah it's yeah. in fantastic shape and the car is what nearly 15 years old now but it really hasn't aged that much it's really different to an e46 m3 which is kind of cool because you get similar characteristics I, I guess you could say yeah. in a completely different platform well once you have a drive throughout the yeah. day um, I think uh, you know hopefully you'd be converted oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole lot of madness going on. We're going to go for our first solo run in the Z4M here at Haunted Hills. The aim of the game today is not about setting any lap times. It's all about having fun. I'm just going to fix the camera a little bit. And I'm super excited. It's really rare that I come out onto track just because of timing, schedules. I usually have most of my shoots on the weekend. So having the opportunity to have a shoot out at the track Honestly, it's a huge privilege. So shout out again goes to Gordon for allowing me to take part in his track day. And not only just that, but to drive his pride and joy in the Z4M. Let's go guys. So first off, I want to make sure that the tyres are fully warmed up. And just get myself accustomed to how this car feels through the corners because it truly just hugs the pavement so well. There's been a whole lot of suspension modification work that the owner, Gordon, has implemented onto this car and it feels awesome. Grip levels are so good. It's got a set of Michelin Four cup two tires and they feel magnificent. Yeah, through the corners of the chicane, just absolutely lovely. Heel and towing feels lovely in this car. Oh, it's a very technical course and it's very demanding. There's a lot of undulating corners as you can see. So bloody good though. And that soundtrack of the S54 is just beautiful. It's actually symphonic the way it sounds. out and when you get there it just throws you forward it's such an enjoyable driving experience you have to grab it by the scruff of the neck and then it just feels so rewarding it's beautiful absolutely sublime <laughs> the guy in front of me just did a little skid oh man what a blast this thing is truly something else we're gonna go for a quick little cool down lap there's something so unique about the Z4M and just listening to that S54 engine and coupled with that CSL carbon fibre airbox in the front, it's just a beautiful soundtrack and I can't get enough of it. You know, all of these S54 engine cars, the M3 and the Z4M have truly skyrocketed in value. And in my honest opinion, in the next coming years, this car is going to be a cult classic. It already is, but soon enough, more and more people will begin to appreciate the magic of the Z4M Coupe. It's such a beautiful looking car as well. The lines, the shape, it's very iconic. And if you didn't know any better, 
I'd say that this car looks five to 10 years old, but no, it's edging on 15. It's a very timeless looking mobile, and I wouldn't say it's as classic as an E46 M3, but for what you're getting, it's a very unique car and one of a kind, really. The modifications that the owner Gordon has implemented on this car really just takes it up a notch even further because already in its stock form, they're so much fun to drive, but just tinkering it that final level and just extracting all the performance out of this car. It's just a joyful experience and out here on the track, you really get a chance to taste that limits when it comes to these M masterpieces. I'm loving it. We're gonna go do a few more laps around Haunted Hills and just enjoy this car because it is bloody awesome. Whew. We're gonna let the car cool down a little bit, get some footage of just everything that's going on around here. Shape and the look of the Z4M is just really so aesthetically pleasing. And that back end really, honestly, just has me so reminisce of my old Honda S2000 AP2. If you guys have been following me for quite some time, you'll know that I had a spoon hardtop on that car and largely because of how this car looks from the back. It's so aggressive and that stance on it. It's funny that I say that because right next to this car is this TTRS. And that's out of this world wild and aggressive compared to it. This is a stage two TTRS, the brand new generation. And it looks like a serious monster. It's decked out with Audi Sport parts as well. Just looks the business. What up? I what just up? Drove, uh, I just drove his car. Damn. How was it? Mind blowing, man. Like, Are you that's gonna next get one level. now? Yeah, I have to. Like, honestly, like that had so much G force, cornering power, and uh, so much like just overall acceleration, braking power. Like, I after three laps, I'm classic. Whatever the Z4M is, I think this is just amplified like many times. Many times? Yeah, many times. Wow. And yeah, oh, I can't explain it. And also, this doesn't have um, power steering. No. So when I was handling it, it was just like, I can feel the steering loading up. And when the back comes around, I can almost feel the steering wheel start to load up. It's, it's really just, progressive, isn't it? You yes. can just feel everything. Right? Yeah, yeah. But with the amount of power, like I can't just mash the throttle. I've got to like really modulate it because you know through the back hairpins, yeah? Like I felt like I probably went in a bit hot, slightly understeering. Apply a little bit of throttle, the back end just comes around. It was so good. Yeah, it's scary if you're sitting somewhere else driving. Huh? Really? Yeah. It is scary. Yeah. And yeah, this guy's man. crazy. Yeah, no, this, well, 500 horsepower, man. This, oh, a car that weighs what, 90? Is that? Oh, E85 is 550. Yeah, E85. Now it's something around yeah. yeah. How heavy is it? Oh, just 1.1, yeah. 1 .1. But it's not for everyday drive. <laughs> just What's your daily case. driver? Uh, a daily driver, Evo. Oh wow, oh, which yeah. one? Evo, Evo 10. Evo 10, yeah, they're, they're best dailies really. So I did a video on Ed's XCJS, which is pretty insane. That's a previous gen. And Oscar has the new generation, which is this. Yeah, give a try next time. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man, yeah, we'll love to, man. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody wants to drive Oscar's car. It just looks the most serious. And then after I drove your car, I went and bought one. Yeah, I got one. Actually? Yeah, I went and bought one. Oh man. Like, I drove your car through King Lake and I couldn't feel my arms anymore. Are you going to condition your shoulders? <laughs> do some MMA with man. me, do some wrestling. Literally, I thought I was going to do reef then and then everything. I told you, yeah, that yeah, day. Yeah. Then I drove it to King Lake and literally after King Lake, I was like, I'm done. Go home. Holy crap. Have some creatine, BCAA. <laughs> Have a protein shake. Then the next day I went straight to Lotus, go, I'll order it. <laughs> Whilst we're out here today, I thought I'd do a review on some dogs. I've got the Corgi and the Shiba Inu breed over here. They are really pulling me and uh, testing me out here. <laughs> hey guys, calm down. Hello. Ah. <laughs> Doesn't he look like Huey? Oh my God. <laughs> I think they're getting pretty possessive. <laughs> guys, guys, it's okay. Apart from the dogs, there are some seriously cool cars out here and check out this 86. Hi. So this is Stig. Hi. He owns this beautiful 86, but he used to own also a very cool car. 
<laughs> what, which car did you use to own? You still on the DC5. Wait, which DC5? <laughs> Yours. Oh no! <laughs> yes, I bought Stig's car. How's the yeah. ownership with the 86? Uh, it's really nice. Um, yeah? I swapped to the rear wheel drive. It's Is it more fun? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's more traction, but not that much power right yeah i miss the vtec do you miss vtec yeah yeah i think you should k-swap the 86 would you do it <laughs> um i think no there's <laughs> no, <laughs> no, okay, no, -swap. no way. okay what are your future plans for the car um i probably supercharged it wow yeah that'd be sweet yeah. so he spent a lot of money on suspension mods on the 86 kind of like the dc5 he goes crazy on those mods and Rightfully so, he's a very, very fast track driver and it's proven. So what just happened? Oh, I just uh, did my personal best. 101.2, uh, clockwise, figure eight. That is insanely yeah, fast. In and I was in the car. Yeah. But uh, earlier today we talked about BMW reliability and look what happened after 101. straights when you get it up high in the rev it just seems <laughs> it's so much fun to drive the lineup here is actually nuts we're gonna go watch Gordon Go for his hot lap around and hopefully he can crack a new personal best he wants to try and get in the one minute mark with his z4m coupe so let's see if he's able to break that record of his he's going to be running against the toyota supra <laughs> you get 45 no i'm joking no actually slower no way no i'm serious uh 102.44 so it's actually like uh one second and something slower yeah yeah, so yeah. what did you find different between this lap mm -hmm. and the one previously with me in um see you see mate you take care see you man um yeah no i feel like when you're next to me i feel a bit more motivated because yeah. you're like you know oh my god yeah, yeah. oh yeah of course yeah, yeah when i'm by myself i'm just like oh i don't know so, oh, no way. Yeah. But you still did really good. Um, yeah, look, uh, I'm going to call it a day uh, because I think I had fun, beat my PB, did not stack, yeah. you know, so had a good day, you know. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah. Happy for you. Yeah, no, thanks, man. I hope you awesome? had a good and day as well. Thank you for the amazing day. Uh, well. No problems. Yeah, thank no you problems, so much, Gordon. I really appreciate yeah, it, man. Pleasure. It was an good absolute blast you. driving your, your pride and joy yeah, as well pleasure. as uh, experiencing it out here at Haunted yeah. Hills. It's been so much fun, so huge yeah. shout out to G-Man. Leave no a problems. link to his Instagram below. Oh, thank you very much. But he much. hosts these events at yeah. Haunted Hills yeah. as well as Phillip Island yeah, as well. Yeah. If anyone wants to come, just hit me up on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, yeah, awesome, you know, feel man. free to tag along. Yeah, we'll make it a sick yeah. day out. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy it. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like about the E86, the Z4M Coupe, and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.